What's up my VR bears? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to play Minecraft VR on your Oculus Quest completely wirelessly. For this tutorial, you are going to need Minecraft Java Edition or Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, as well as a VR headset, probably your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2. You're going to also need virtual desktop and a PC capable of running Minecraft. VR Minecraft isn't significantly different from normal Minecraft, so if your PC can run Minecraft just fine, you'll be absolutely fine running Minecraft VR. With that being said, make sure you hit that like button if this tutorial helps you out at all. And if you want to see other tutorials by me about how to get the most out of your quest too, definitely hit that subscribe button. But with that being said, let's hop into today's video. This video is going to have two segments, one where I teach you how to use Vivecraft, which is the Java edition of VR Minecraft, and how to use the Windows 10 edition of VR Minecraft. These are two different ways of doing it, one is through Oculus itself, and one is through a third party called Vivecraft. So with that being said, I'm going to do Vivecraft first with Windows 10 at the end. So if you're just interested in doing the Windows 10 version, skip to the timestamp on screen. The first step is actually going to be getting Vivecraft. To do this, open up a web browser and search Vivecraft. Vivecraft should come up and take you to the website Vivecraft.org. You can also get here via the link in the description. Once you're here, you want to click Downloads up in the top right. On the Downloads page, you want to scroll down until you get to Current Versions. As you can see on screen, there are multiple different downloads for each version. The one you want to focus on is the VR Client one. Clicking on that link will take you to a GitHub page where you'll see multiple downloads for Vivecraft. You want to click on the one that is not non-VR. You want to click on the top one that does not have non-VR in the name. Once you click it, it will begin to download into your downloads folder or wherever you save all of your downloaded stuff. From there, what you want to do is make sure you have your Minecraft launcher closed. You do not want your Minecraft Java Edition launcher open when you install this. Once your Minecraft launcher is closed, you're going to want to click on the .exe to run it. Once it's run, a lot of things will come up on screen. Do not worry about it. You don't need to change any of this. You can go through and change it if you want to change where you're installing your stuff to or whether or not you want to have different qualities of life while using Vivecraft, but personally, I would just say ignore it. Moving on though, if you look down at the bottom, you should see an install or cancel. If you don't want to install Vivecraft, you can always cancel, but in this case, you are going to want to click install. Once again, a pop-up will appear saying that you should close your Minecraft launcher before proceeding. If it is closed, click OK. Vivecraft will install into your Minecraft launcher, and you should get a completed pop-up saying that it was installed successfully. Once you receive that, click OK, and you are free to open up your Minecraft launcher. Opening your Minecraft launcher, you should be able to change the version down in the bottom left next to play, to a Vivecraft 1.16 or whatever version you installed. If that did not appear, try going into your installations and trying to add a Vivecraft version. To do that, click installations at the top, click the little new, and then scroll through the versions once you're on the create a new versions page and find Vivecraft. If there is no Vivecraft, you might have messed up one of the installation steps. If you are having a larger issue, feel free to let me know via a comment in the description. I try and read and respond to every single one of them. Once you can confirm you have Vivecraft installed, it's time to head on to the next step of installing Steam VR. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and download Steam. I just kind of assumed people would have Steam since most gamers have Steam on their PC. But go download Steam, it's super easy, just look it up on a web page, and then it'll take you right to the downloads page where you can go and download it. Once you have Steam installed, and you have your account all set up, open up Steam. Once Steam is open, head into the Stores tab at the top left, go over to the search bar, and search Steam VR. You might need to scroll down a little, but what you're looking for is the Steam VR with the Steam logo and the colorful background. Once you find that, click on it and make sure it's installed. Once Steam VR is installed, we're good to head on to Virtual Desktop, which is an optional step that you can use if you want to be able to play Minecraft on your Oculus Quest completely wirelessly. 
If you're fine playing with Oculus Link, you can skip this step completely and just skip ahead to the timestamp on screen. But for the next couple minutes, we're going to talk about how to run and get Vivecraft set up through Virtual Desktop. As said in the intro, I'm going to already assume that you guys have Virtual Desktop downloaded on your PC as well as on your headset. So with that being said, open both of those up. Once both of those are open on your PC end, you need to go to the Virtual Desktop streamer and change your username to whatever your username is on your Oculus Quest. Once you have done that, you should be able to connect to your PC via Virtual Desktop in the app on your Quest. It doesn't always work right away, give it a couple minutes, sometimes it works to try unplugging the ethernet in your PC and connecting to Wi-Fi and then replugging in your ethernet. That is a whole troubleshooting process in it in itself, so if you have problems feel free to join my discord linked down below where I can help you with getting virtual desktop all set up. Once you have connected to your PC, a window should appear which should show your monitor. From there you should be able to run Vivecraft. So navigate into your Minecraft launcher. And then make sure the Vivecraft version is selected, and then you can click play. From there, Steam VR should open as well as Minecraft VR. It may take a couple of minutes as Steam VR does load very, very slowly. But once it has loaded up, you should be placed in a 3D Minecraft world with a 2D menu in front of you. The way you should know you're in VR is because you'll see the whole 3D environment instead of just a flat screen in front of you. If you are seeing a flat screen in front of you without the 3D environment, that means you probably clicked the non-VR Vivecraft version and you need to go download the VR one. From here, you can join multiplayer, join single player, or join Minecraft Realms. All of them should work perfectly. The movement can all be changed through options as well as your player size if you want to be bigger or smaller. And with that being said, if you have the Minecraft Windows 10 edition, let's get started with that right now. For starters, you're going to need the Oculus Quest Rift software installed on your PC. That way you can play the PC game of Minecraft Windows 10 edition on your Oculus Quest. In order to do this, head down to the link in the description or search up Oculus Quest software for PC. Once you get to the oculus.com slash setup website, scroll down till you get to Oculus Quest, then click on the blue download software button. This will begin to download an EXE that will lead you to the Oculus setup. Once that EXE is downloaded, click it and run it, and your installation should begin. Click next, click OK, go through all the steps and get it all installed. The installation can take a very long time, do not worry about it. Once you've finished installing though, sign in and make sure you connect up your device. Once signed in, what you want to do is head up to the search in the top right and search up Minecraft. Minecraft should come up. As you see it, you can click on it. It'll take you to the Minecraft page where you can click the blue install button on the right hand side. Once the download is complete, you can then hook up your Oculus Quest to your PC using Oculus Link. Once you've done that, you can then go into your headset, click allow access, and then click start Oculus link, and your headset should be able to connect to your Oculus software. If it doesn't, join my Discord down below and I'll be sure to help you out. There's a lot of troubleshooting tips I could go into that you can use in order to try and get your device connected, because a lot of times the Oculus Rift software can be a bit fidgety. Once you've done that though, and Oculus Link has started, you should be able to click Minecraft from within your headset, but if not, you can pull your headset off your head and then click Start Minecraft in the Oculus app on your PC. Once you've done that, Minecraft should start up and you should be good to play. With that being said though, you'll have access to all the multiplayer or all the single player you want to play, and you'll be playing basically the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft, but in VR. Hopefully this video did help you out, and if it did, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you are new. I do lots of tutorials just like this one that'll help you get the most out of your quest, so if you want to get more bonuses and pluses out of your quest, definitely hit that notification bell that way you never miss one of my streams or videos. If you want to support me, you can become a member, either a little lettuce, a bear cub, or a mama bear. Their support helps me out tremendously and allows me to make videos like these in order to help more people. With that being said, thank you to my current members. You guys are amazing. You guys are absolute mad lads. My Little Lettuces and my Mama Bear, thank you so much for your support. And with that, the video is about to end. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.